So about a year ago, I brought you guys a really simple tin can gasifier stove. In this case, using a tomato juice can on the outside, pasta sauce can on the inside. Put this together with really simple tools, a three-way can opener and a steak knife. Now, just reading through the comments, a lot of you said, uh, well, isn't that just a hobo stove? We made that in scouts or guides. And in reality, it's not a hobo stove. A hobo stove basically is a tin can stove that you've punched some holes into the outside. And uh, being single wall, it does burn, but it's not overly efficient. A gas fire stove, on the other hand, is a double wall stove. What's happening is that air is entering the bottom of the stove traveling up the sides, getting heated, and re-enters the combustion chamber at the top. Gasifier stove burns a lot hotter, cleaner, and more efficiently than your regular hobo stove. The other thing about a hobo stove is that they usually sit right on the bottom, and unless you're putting that on a non-flammable surface, uh, you can get some combustion underneath. Gasifier stove, in this case, you'll see that the inner can doesn't sit on the outer can and so there's a little bit of a an insulator between the two cans and you can actually set this one right on a log or, or even on uh, the forest floor. So the stove that I made last year worked very well but unfortunately it wasn't completely efficient. You'll see that while there is a gap at the top here and most of the air does enter the combustion chamber here some of the air still escapes out the top of the can and doesn't go into the can. So what I thought I would do this year is redesign that a little bit and try and close up that gap. So that's what I've done here. Basically, instead of completely cutting the top off the tomato juice can, uh, I've cut a hole in the center of the can, which allows the inner can to basically sit uh, inside that. So whole configuration in this one, uh, bottom is completely closed, of course. We've got half inch holes here, a hole cut out in the top for the inner can. Just remove these two cans here. I've got a bunch of 3 16 holes drilled in the bottom. That's where uh, your primary airflow is gonna enter the combustion chamber. I've got a row of 12 3 16 holes drilled a little bit up from the bottom so if these holes get choked off you've still got some air entering here and if for some reason you get ash even higher in the can I've got another row of uh, in this case only six 3 16 inch holes about halfway up. The holes at the top to allow the air to re-enter the combustion chamber are 5 16 and so that this can doesn't fall down into the other one I have basically just Cut some tabs, uh, four of them, out of these 5 16 holes here. Now I've accomplished all this. Instead of using the can opener, I've used a pair of tin snips to cut that hole in the top of the outer can. And I've used a step bit uh, to cut the rest of the holes in the other can so that I get nice clean holes. So let's go ahead, put this thing back together, fire it up, and see how it burns. <laughs> 